Good morning class, it's Mrs. Lawson and welcome to my kitchen. I would like to take a minute today to look at shapes. Now these are a little bit different than the shapes that you draw on a piece of paper because these shapes are solid. They have three dimensions. We call them geometric solids and there's two maybe three that we're going to look at today and learn their names. This is the first one. Do you know what it's called? You might think that it is called a ball and we certainly, balls are the shape of this geometric solid. We call these a sphere. Hmm. Where might you see a sphere in your house? Can you think of some things that are the shape of a sphere? I'm sure you can. I have one here to show you. What is it? It's a ball. Balls are the shape of a sphere. And there are so many different types of balls that maybe you play with, like a soccer ball or a basketball or a baseball or even a bowling ball. Balls are spheres. Can you think of anything else that is the same shape as a sphere? What about a globe or the whole earth or even the moon? Those are the shape of spheres. Hmm. I have one here that looks like a sphere, but it was cut in half. And we would call this half of a sphere. It's different in that it's not going to roll. It's going to lie flat. I have another shape that I want to show you today. Do you know what they're called? They're called cones. They have a broader base and then they go up narrow to the point. And if I were to turn it over, you can see that the base is a circle. In fact, I like putting my half of a sphere on my cone to pretend it's a little ice cream cone. Oh, it almost slipped. Can you think of something that you've seen that is in the shape of a cone? Maybe it was an ice cream cone. That would be the tastiest cone ever. Hmm. Maybe you've seen some orange cones along the side of the road. Maybe there was construction and the individuals who were doing the construction put up orange cones to protect you and to keep you from the area that you weren't supposed to be in. Hmm. Those are some uses of cones. I can think of another fun use of cones. They're usually at birthday parties. Do you know what it is? Fun birthday hats. Do you have any of these at home? A fun silly birthday hat can also be a cone. It has a circular base and then goes up narrower into a point. So these are the two different shapes that we're learning today. Spheres, and cones. And I want you to go on a shape hunt today. Can you look all around your house and see if you can find any objects that are the shape of a sphere or a cone or maybe even half of a sphere? I hope that you have a great time on your shape hunt today. And just in case you don't find any cones, I have a craft that you can make and you'll make your own cone. So you're going to need a few supplies. Let me tell you what you'll need. These are the supplies that you're going to need to make your craft today. You're going to need something that is in the shape of a circle, like a plate or the lid of a jar. You're going to need some paper as well. 
Now I'm using a small piece, but you can use a much larger one. You're going to need something to write with. I'm using a marker. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. Once you have all of your supplies, come and craft with me. I hope you have all of these supplies at home because this is a very fun little craft that we're going to try today. We're going to make our own little cone. I made mine very small because I only use, I'm only using one fourth of a piece of paper or a quarter of a piece of paper. I'm going to take my circle shape and place it right on top of the paper. And I'm going to use my circle shape as a pattern. I'm going to use my marker and I'm going to trace all the way around the circle shape until I have a circle on my paper. Then I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way around the edge until I have my very own paper circle. And it looks just like this. Then I'm going to take my marker again and I'm going to put a dot in the center. And with my scissors, I'm going to cut a very, very straight line from the outside edge to the center and no further. So that my cut just goes halfway around. Then I'm going to fold or put my, the top side over top of the bottom to form a little cone. Now you could glue your cone together or I taped mine. Hmm. You can make a larger one if you have a larger piece of paper. Maybe you could even make one to wear or make one for your stuffies or your little kitty cat. I hope that you have fun today making a cone. Bye-bye. Have a great day. I would love to see a picture of you in your cone when you've finished making it. Send it to me. Bye-bye.